because the disrespect is just downright too much. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. Get your money, sis. Get your hater. Making money, move. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, it's all about the cleaner. Get your money, sis. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Two Cent Tuesdays with Jenny, where you will be getting my unsolicited, unapologetic opinion about what's going on in the world today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a new video. And you might as well go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up if you're watching this far. Go ahead and push that thumbs up button for me. And without further ado, let's get right into today's topic. <sighs> Today, I want to talk about disrespect. It's the disrespect for me. I feel like respect is just non-existent these days with this new generation. It's just, ugh, it's driving me crazy. So what brought me to this conversation is um, two things few things a whole lot of things let's be clear so recently the very popular saucy santana has been going viral for his tweets from the past about little blue ivy if you don't know who blue ivy is that is a child the daughter of jay-z and beyonce um one thing about this generation they gonna dig up them old tweets. They gonna fish. The minute you get put on, they gonna put you on blast, okay? So these tweets resurfaced from way back when, where this man was talking hella junk about this little girl as if she did something to him calling her nappy headed saying how north which is kanye and kim's daughter would clear her on any debt like comparing the children just dragging this baby when the tweets surfaced everyone was waiting on what he had to say and first he came back posting his tweets where he praised beyonce and how elegant she is and all this yada 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 it's like mm, that don't take back what you said about her daughter though sis um and a lot of people was coming at him like not cool that's a kid like you a grown-ass man like why are you talking about a child um then I'm not sure who this artist is, but he's from Houston. He also put him on blast. He also put him on blast saying like, you know, you got a show coming up in my city. And, you know, Houston don't play about Beyonce. So I'm letting you know you better apologize. And he said he not going to do it. He not going to do it. He said what he said. He said, I'm going to still talk about a bitch, just not publicly. So I just thought that was absurd crazy but i'm gonna get into my opinion later um and he in fact did have his show in houston where apparently he has a song with beyonce's beat crazy in love and he's up on the stage twerking to beyonce's beat in houston and they letting this rock they still go santana fucking access because there are no morals in this day and age there's no code in this day and age all is fair game clearly in this day and age so that was one thing that i just found extremely disrespectful then not to mention kevin gates put out a record some type of some type of revenge rec record against his ex where he is stating what he wants to do to Ruby Rose, Beyonce, and Nicki Minaj. Now in the record he says no disrespect to Jay but goes on to disrespect him and his woman. 
He said he wanted Beyonce to piss on his What? Sir, do you know who you're talking to? Like, I feel like it's just all, all bets is off. But now let's take it to the everyday person. Okay, the celebrities. We know people feel like they can do what they want to do when they got money and they just do what they want to do. But now I came across another video on TikTok. A teacher going back and forth with a high school student, arguing. He said, go get your dad. I argue with your dad. Go get your dad. Go get your dad. As the other teachers are trying to get him out the room, trying to get him out the cafeteria, he's going back and forth, back and forth. The girl goes, my dad is dead. He said, then go get him up so I could talk to him. Everybody's like, oh my God, he's so disrespectful. How can he say that? You a grown man. You going back and forth for the child. Da, 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 da. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my little two cents in on all these situations. Because the disrespect is just downright too much. I'm going to start with the teacher. As an educator myself, I got the little ones. So they don't do all of that. I mean, I've had some disrespectful ones. Don't get me wrong. Okay. I've had kids not to me, but talk to other teachers, call them my motherfucker and all of that shit like that. Um, but I, I, I see that they're that way because of their parents. The parents are disrespectful. So what do you think the child is going to do? They're going to be disrespectful as well. Um, however, in that particular situation, as educators, I know you guys seen all these videos of teachers getting hit, uh, there's their wig snatched off, cussed out just disrespect in the classrooms and i'm telling you right now teachers do not get paid enough to deal with the shit they got to deal with on a regular basis from these disrespectful children where you can't even go and say anything to the parent about their child's disrespect because they're just as disrespectful if not more disrespectful than they are and it's frustrating I promise you, you 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 go in these classrooms and not only do you got to worry about, God forbid, somebody coming to school to snap and kill everybody, but then you also got to deal with the constant disrespect, the things that come out of these children's mouths. The, 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 it's just, it's too much. No, was he, was he right for what he said? Absolutely not. As the adult, you know, sometimes you do got to take the high road, especially as an educator but people are people let's be clear teacher whatever human first and people have feelings and people have breaking points it's only so much you can take before you will snap and you will stoop down to their level it's unfortunate but it's the reality when you're constantly going into work, being disrespected, spoken to in a nasty manner, you can't get any teaching done because you're spending most of your day disciplining, it's frustrating, okay? I feel like we're, 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 we're living in a generation where it's like there's literally no morals, no respect, just straight up don't give a shit. And, you know, I know the younger generation like to say that we're the toxic generation because we were taught to, you know, respect our elders, even if they're being disrespectful or because we were taught to be seen and not heard and all these type of things. And although there are some things I do agree, you know, we grew up with a little bit of toxicity, 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 toxicity. Um, but at the same time, we followed a code growing up. We knew if there was elders around, we were respectful. We not rah-rah, loud, talking, cursing, fighting, making out, doing all of this when there's elders around, when there's little, little children around. Like, I feel like none of that matters anymore. It's, it's all fair game. And I feel like social media has made everybody so desensitized to things that it's just, 
it's just all bits is off the gloves is off and the fact that saucy santana literally said like i'm i'm still gonna do it just not publicly it's like yo the only thing i will give him because a lot of celebrities, they get caught up with things that they've said in the past or done in the past or whatever. And then they come forward with this well-written apology from their PR or whatever. Instead of standing on what they said, I give him that. He's standing on what he said and I ain't going to apologize for it. But at the end of the day, it's a child. It's not like this is another grown person and you like so. I was talking about Beyonce and stand on it but that's a kid come on you just had a beautiful moment with little kim's daughter where she idolized you and and thought you were so amazing and she's one of your biggest fans obviously children are looking at you so you're saying it's okay for a grown person to talk about children how is that okay Put your pride to the side for a second. Not for us, not for nobody else, but for that little girl. Because God knows the world already done dragged her to, to, to God knows what. Which is beyond me because she's a child. But that child one day has to get older and see the foolishness that, that the internet put out. Um, It's just getting scary out here. With the levels of disrespect and the lack of, of, of compassion, the lack of uh, humanity. You know, social media, they're posting people getting killed. Uh, I just recently saw some rapper who got SHOT in the pharmacy just gunned down over his freaking chain. And they posted the video like it was nothing. Uh, we had to listen to the video with Kevin Samuels, the 911 call of this woman frantically begging for help while this man is unaliving in the in that moment. Um, and it was just like, now granted, I've never been a person that, you know, is shaken up by these type of things. I can watch these type of videos. I watch all kind of like gruesome things. So though it doesn't particularly bother me, but it bothers me. You know, as a human, it's like, oh my God, I, I, I can feel the emotion. But I feel like we're now just like scrolling like, oh, so-and-so got S-H-O-T today. So, you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's just becoming too much. And the disrespect is just, it's what is happening what are we teaching this younger generation that it's okay to just be disrespectful say how you feel no matter how you you know no matter how you say it like what are we really out here doing it's just um, it's i don't know i don't know if it's social media i don't know if it's just you know you want everybody to be respectful to the communities to to each other but it seems like respect has gone out the window people get behind these 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 phones and these keyboards and they just say whatever they want to say and have no kind of no care in the world of who feelings they hurt tiktok brutal the comments that go on there oh my god the internet thugging is un like there is so many unhappy people in this world it's sick and they literally freaking sit behind these screens and they put others down because they are so miserable with their lives it's just sad it's sad it's so scary to bring a child in this world today because i want my child to be compassionate i want my child to be respectful and if this is what they're going to be growing up around i yeah i don't know this was more like a rant instead of like a two cent tuesday but let me know if y'all feel me on the disrespect levels like is it really getting out of hand or am i just getting old what y'all think because <laughs> it's the disrespect for me that i just can't take i just can't take with that being said, I thank you guys for watching as always. Make sure you follow me on all of my social medias. Everything will be in the description down below. And Jenny is...